Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable and let's get stuck in. Yes. So today I'm doing an ombre. Ombre. <laughs> ombre. <laughs> I'm doing an ombre um, with some zebra print and a wee bit of sparkle. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to do a three colour ombre. So I've started with a kind of pinky purpley colour. A light blue and a mint green and I'm just going to butt them up to each other then I'm going to go in with my hombre brush and I'm just going to mix that up a wee bit there get the blend started it's not very blended but we're starting <laughs> there we go and then I'm just cleaning my brush off in between as you can see and then I'm just going to take that brush and I'm tapping it side to side and dragging it down now your first your first layer of the ombre is never going to be perfect, ever. Ever. <laughs> but it's the start. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep dragging that colour down to the tip. And then I'm going to start dragging it the other way. Now, I did try and do it like so, with the thumb facing down the way. And, I, yeah, it was just... You can do it this way, obviously, if you're doing clients and stuff, like, that's possibly the way you would want to do it, other than trying to break the thumb off. <laughs> but this thumb isn't attached to a hand, so I just did this. <laughs> Imagine you could just, like, detach the limbs, you know, the, the appendages, <laughs> and do that. <laughs> it's so much easier. <laughs> I'll just slide the nails in and out. Brilliant. <laughs> So as you can see, that's the first coat done. It's never perfect. Um, and now I'm just going to go in and refine it this time with the second coat. I'm just trying to get that cuticle area nice and neat. Like so. And then I'm going to take the blue again, just button it up. Now, don't worry about there being too much product because when you're actually doing the ombre, you're pulling off some of that product because you're wiping your brush off quite regular and you'll pull it down to the tip. Um, again, I'm just going in there and try to mix it up a wee bit while we get started. And you want to wipe your brush off quite regular because you don't want to drag that purple into the green. You're wanting to drag it into the blue and then wipe it off and then you take the blue and you, you blend that into the green. So you want to pick colours that are going to blend quite easily together so they're close to each other in the colour spectrum and it just makes your job a lot easier. So again, just working from the tip back to the cuticle and I'm just going to blend that all the way back up. And it's the slightest minute movement. So you're going across the way, but while you're going across, you're just tapping it down slightly and you're just dragging that product down. Now, I'll only show you me doing this twice. I'll do it again in the opposite direction. Usually it takes about three goes um, blending in this technique. But this is my fave way because I feel like I get a really nice blend with it. It takes, it takes a bit of patience, but you, I do think I get a really nice blend with it. Obviously not here right now, but it, it does. <laughs> So I'm taking Nail Sugar's Micromyler and Angel Dust. Angel Dust is very new and very beautiful. Honestly, it's just absolutely stunning. It's got this kind of hot series pink kind of tint to it. Oh, it's just beautiful. And silver white it doesn't give you that yellow cast that you can get with a lot of iridescence. It's, it's just, yes, I love it. <laughs> so I've added some of that and the Micromyler. I actually go in and add a wee bit more um, of the Micromyler over the top. And then I'm just going to seal it all in with some base coat. Which is super important to do. And then once you're happy and you've base coated it all and filed and buffed it nice and smooth again, I'm going in with a black gel paint and a fine long liner brush. Now, I'm using the gel paint because I'm not going to top coat over this. So gel paint, this one in particular, doesn't have a tacky layer. Always double check that it doesn't have a tacky layer. Um, so I don't need to top coat over this. So I'm just taking nice long strokes and a liner brush is just fantastic for this because it just takes, I have really shaky hands and it really does help with my shaky hands. <laughs> I started off doing the zebra print with this brush but then I switched because it, it, it was a bit too long for doing this for me. 
Um, so I do end up switching the brush. I'm sure. I may be imagining that. <laughs> there we go. Switched brush. So it's just a slightly shorter brush than well, I'm saying slightly. It's about half the size. So it's still it's still kind of classed as a liner brush. Um, you also want to make sure that when you're painting this, especially with gel paint, because it is so pigmented, and especially black, black and white, that's your two ones that are super pigmented and always end up wrinkling if you use too much. Um, so you want to just make sure that you're not putting it on too thick. Nice and thin layers, um, but obviously enough that it's opaque. And then, yeah, so I'm just adding squiggly zebra print lines like so. So you have wee thin bits and wee thick bits. And I didn't cure that line down the centre so that I don't have um, like that ridge between the line and the design, if that makes sense. So it would just all flow nicely and it would all cure at the same level. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I really love these colours in this ombre. It's getting to the nice fresh spring colours, isn't it? No belong and it'll be the neons. But I feel like pastels are a year year round thing. I definitely think that. I think maybe maybe possibly autumn is a wee bit Nah, I still wear pastels in autumn, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm just continuing this wee design down the nail. Adding some that join together and some that come from both sides but don't join. Um yeah, it's, it's good to look up the likes of zebra print and what have you and that'll give you a wee idea of like, the pattern to do. There we go. Almost there! We're almost there. I'm just faffing about. <laughs> and this ring palette broke. I went to take it off and it came off the wee ring bit so I was like raging. <laughs> I'm not feeling. <laughs> okay, so after I've killed that, this is the finished result. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a wee comment down below, let me know how you are. And don't forget we have Facebook group for myself, Chronically Creative Nails, and for Nail Sugar. And there's always a mood board competition, which is a new one at the moment. So go and win yourself some goodies. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Take care.